challenge from one campaigner that's caught the headlines. A Cambridge academic has invited the prominent Tory Brexiter Jacob Rees-Mogg to debate with her in the nude. Dr Victoria Bateman has been trying to show that Brexit leaves the UK, as she puts it, exposed. And in order to do that, she's been taking her clothes off to argue her case. This is the moment she revealed all to Radio 4's John Humphreys on the Today programme this morning. Good morning, John. And I brought my message to the studio today, as you can see, written across my body, Brexit leaves Britain naked. Yes, and you are now naked as we speak. <laughs> Well, earlier I spoke to Victoria Bateman, who's an economics fellow at Gonville and Keys College, Cambridge, and started by asking her whether Jace Jacob Rees-Mogg had accepted her invitation to debate with her nude. Not yet. Um, the, it is an open invitation, so I am ready and waiting. And it's an invitation that I extend to all of those high-profile Brexiteers that have tried to sell Britain the Emperor's new clothes. But I suppose they might say they don't believe that the economy will be left exposed, so they have no need to take their clothes off. Well, I, I think if we look at what's happening in the British economy right now, there are a series of problems. We have problems with the NHS, we have problems with housing, we have problems with uh, wage growth, the lack of improvement in wages for many people across the UK, and of course, food banks in use up and down the country. And many Brexiteers tell us daily that all of these problems can, in part, be reduced to the European Union. And my view is that that the European Union is not the cause of these problems and that Brexit therefore cannot possibly provide a solution, that Brexiteers have sold Brexit voters a false solution, they've sold the Emperor's new clothes. So you make these points very uh, clearly and cogently while fully dressed. So why at other moments do you feel the need to take your clothes off to say these things? So it's certainly true that I've written thousands of words on why Brexit is bad for Britain. But I thought it might also be helpful to condense those words down to a single powerful message that Brexit leaves Britain naked. But do you, you can surely say that without having to um, demonstrate it physically. So I'm perfectly comfortable in my own skin. So why not demonstrate the fact? Why not use uh, the famous feminist phrase, deeds not words, to make a point? Uh, I suppose because it may detract from the actual words? Well, um, a number of people have suggested this to me. Um, but I, I think um, to, um, to suggest that a woman taking her clothes off is, for example, trashy, that she's stupid, that, um, that it results in a, in a loss of respect, is to reveal the way that as a society we, we falsely judge women, that we hang a woman's worth on what she does or does not choose to cover her body. And if I'm perfectly comfortable using my body, I'm a modern day woman, I believe that it's up to me to decide what I want to do with my body, then why not use that, that metaphor to try and convey what Brexit will do to Britain? But I wonder, many women would say that women have fought for a long time to be regarded as much more than just their bodies, and that what you're yes. doing goes counter to that. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I would say that we're quite used to seeing images of naked women in our society. Um, we have uh, lots of pornography, for example, available online. We see scantily clad women in advertising. We see lots of female nudes in art galleries. But what we rarely see is the female nude being given a voice. And by taking to the stage, by putting forward an important political argument, by voicing my opinion, what I would say is that I'm showing that behind every naked woman is a real thinking being. And that next time when you look at a woman naked, don't assume that she's trashy and don't assume that she's stupid. The highly original Dr. Victoria Bateman there. Now, time.